here are those um, demonstrate quicker demonstration here for you clickbait guys. folks well here I am me in the garage today I'll just do some work in there so yeah um I picked up a HP workstation Zexon PC from 2011 for $90 and the best the thing is what I've done is is it came basically all the parts me to set all up well, I basically had in my in my um spare parts bin and basically and because they um had the machine came windows 7 sticker for the key i'm able to get it going so basically it's basically got all the software running on there and for not for an old machine for almost 10 years old it's working quite well let me show you Now start up, now start up, now start up and start up and redone. It can load up Adobe software quite well. And then what I need to do is I'll do it like that. And then I'll do that. And then Conclusion, a solid state drive is a good alternative to a full computer upgrade. As demonstrated here on a, on a nine-year-old on a nine-year-old machine, you can put a solid state disk in that machine and it'll probably give it a few more years of life in it. And plus you can run the software you want on it. Uh that's pretty much all what I believe. Solid state disks are a good alternative, a good alternative to a full upgrade. And most most cases, even a computer a few years old and is running slow. Most of the things I've seen, most of the fix it, speed, speed it up, is by adding a solid state disk. 
and also it also boots faster too and as you have seen by by using Adobe, Adobe InDesign which is a very demanding software package um, it, it runs a great amount of ease so thanks for watching today's tech video today